making the Olympics was a dream for you for so long and you probably went to more effort than virtually the whole Irish Olympic team. Can you talk briefly about the efforts you went to to get here? Yeah, no, I did. I put a huge effort to get here, but... Um, without, without my family, I wouldn't be here. It's good. The crying on TV, well, I wasn't crying because I got beaten, I was crying because I sacrificed my whole life to get there. Every, everything in my life is factored around boxing. I've had over 200 amateur fights. The Olympics was always the goal, but I don't have an amateur boxing style. I'm come forward, I'm aggressive, I'm in your face. I'm throwing plenty of punches and I'm throwing them punches with plenty of power. Boxing, like you're not coming to look at people tap them off. You're looking for people to come and take the head off each other. I'm a full time athlete. If I have a fight day or don't have a fight day, I'm training nine, ten times a week. My whole life revolves around I'm obsessed with this sport. The first thing I think of when I wake up in the morning, the last thing I think of when I go to sleep. I'm from North Strand, Dublin. I'm all around this area, North Strand, Five Lambs, Northern that City, Ballybock, Sheriff Street. They're all great, full of great people, a working class area. You look at a boxing club, it's run by volunteers, people from the area, a great community. The time is now, I have no more time to waste, no more chances to miss. It has to be now. I am a forgotten man in Irish boxing in particular. People will probably look by me, they'll forget about me, but I have no doubt about it. By the end of 2023, I will be an Irish champion. If you throw the towel in, you'll always be thinking, what if? Um, you'll have regrets for the rest of your life, but I just keep going. I've lived life being a plumber, walking in a gym, your average job, there's nothing wrong with your average job, but it's not for me. I want to live life on my terms, and I want to take a shot on it. I can be top dog that's getting good money, good opportunities, good sponsorships, have a huge crowd behind me, a huge profile. I'm known in Ireland, but I want to be known worldwide. Ireland's only a small place. For me to go far and make a name for myself, I have to go worldwide. I have to win Irish titles, European titles, get myself up to world level. It has to be done now. What other people think of me has never bothered me. Like, I'm in my own head. I'm already a champion in my head. I've seen the next three or four years. I know where they're going. So when that happens for me, it's not going to be a surprise. I want to be elite. I want to be the best, best version of myself I can be.